gonna try something a little bit different today, which is gonna just try riding the same trail a whole bunch of times and see if I can make any kind of progress, whether that be time-wise or just smoothness-wise or whatever. Uh, we've gone about four miles getting here, um, about two of those road, two of those trails, so I should be nice and warmed up. Yeah, we're gonna do a quick free ride ride through and uh, check that out and then we'll start doing some runs. Here's a bit. <clears throat> That's a tough one too. I wonder if let's try the other line there. Yeah, that's a better line. Now let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is the rock garden if I'm remembering correctly. This is the hardest part. I think the line is kind of right down the middle there. Okay, I just did that rock garden very messily. Forgot to start the camera, but this is just a pre-ride, so we'll get it. There'll be plenty more opportunities to see me that up, I'm sure. the end. So the reason I picked this trail is partially because of that challenge in the middle and partially because it's quite short and we've got this easy ride back. So now we're back to the intersection and then our trail starts like right here pretty much. There's the signpost right there. So let's uh, get some pads on and get ready to rock. All right, we are ready to start the first real run and not a moment too soon because I have probably gotten 500 mosquito bites in the past 10 seconds. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was bad. <clears throat> nope, didn't shift soon enough. All right, this run is going great. Okay, keep right. Well, that was absolute shit, so nowhere to go but up. line but it worked lost a 
pedal there for a second. Well, that was better. Oh, that was better. better. That just felt like fatigue. Whew. Just headed down the lake trail a little bit for a cool down ride. I'm trying to visualize myself doing that rock garden the way that I want to. That one felt not too bad. Managed to hit that the bottom of that rock roll a little better. This is number five.
Oh, all right. That one felt pretty good too. I do think that might be the fastest one. That said, I don't know. Oh, me. start well the ending felt a little better I think I carried a bit more speed out of that rock garden than I typically have but oh started shitty and both my hands and quads are definitely getting getting a little pumped at this point felt all right but it's definitely just my legs getting too tired to stand up for as long as I need to or sprint as fast as I need to to be going at max oh <sighs> maybe we'll try one more eight's a nice round number let's go for eight Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was incredibly lucky that I didn't crash there. Okay. So, let's stop trying to pin it. Clearly, I'm getting, getting tired, getting sloppy. There too. Ooh. Sorry. That's okay. I could use the break. Looking at my times all together, it makes sense. I was slow at first, then speeding up incrementally until the fatigue in my legs started to slow me down again in the last few runs. This experiment might have looked a little different if I'd taken rest breaks between each run, but it's June in Maine, so any rest break in the woods means volunteering as a mosquito buffet. Now that I have a baseline for this trail though, I can come back and ride it from time to time to repeat this experiment and measure my progression. If you like this video, consider sticking around and subscribing. I'm posting new videos each week, and I'm pretty excited about some of the stuff I've got coming up.